but with Canterville Ghost, because it was 13 years, sort of from inception to, are you interested in this? It's been, we've always been going, is it going to happen? I don't know. Not even when we had it properly green lit, we always going, mm, just because we were just yeah. you know, <laughs> so frustrated. I remember Hugh Laurie being on uh, the one show or something like that. And he was saying, oh, my next project is um, the Canterville Ghost. And that was back in 2014. So, you know, oh, goodness. yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. And bless the producer, Robert, has just been has stuck with it and has kept at it. You know, it's been made for a fraction of the price of most animated films. Mm. You know, it's very much a low budget, independent British film. But it was done, you know, it was designed in New Zealand. It was animated in India. It was directed from London and Germany. Uh, I was edited in Ireland. Um, yeah. So it's been a real, you know, getting everybody to sort of together to try and sort of sort it out. Uh, Robert's been great at including us. And uh, and we've also, you know, we've been rewriting a lot. We've had to, you know, adapt things and rewrite lines or bits and bobs. And we've done scratch tracks. So we've, you know, we've voiced the entire film before the, the professionals come in uh, and, yeah. uh, and then it's all about, you know, doing stuff to lip movements that have been animated. Mm. Sometimes they don't quite work or no. Uh, so it's all been, it's all been a massive learning curve for us as well. Uh, and fascinating to be involved in every sort of uh, stage of its development, which has been a joy. Um, but yes, it's been frustrating at times as well, but yeah. um, I've been, you know, now that it's finally happened, I just hope uh, people go and see it and enjoy it now because it's out of our hands completely. <laughs>